A very good morning to you, wherever you are. This is Dan from Leicester in the UK, and this morning we want to take a look at how we can take motion project files and use them in Final Cut Pro as generators. So the process is really simple. What we do is we go into motion and we create an animation as we normally would. So for example, this is a text animation. So I've got a simple last name and first name. And obviously I've done this generically to, uh, to show how we can change this later on in Final Cut. So once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go to File, I'm going to go Publish Template, I'm going to tick Publish as Final Cut Generator. I'm going to give it a name, so I'm going to go Test. Uh, I'm going to select uh, a folder for it, a category to go into. I can make a new category if I wanted to, and we'll see where these come later on in, in Final Cut. I'm going to click Special for now, um, and I'm going to click Publish. And that's done there in Motion. So I'm going to close this window. And I've got Final Cut open already. Um, I'm going to need to restart this. So once that's opened again, I'm going to go to my Generators window. I'm going to go down to Special, where I saved it. If you create a new category, it would simply be labeled here. I'm going to go to Test, and just drag this into an empty project file. And as you can see, the animation is as it was in motion. If I just click Play on this. And now the great thing is, I can change these text files into whatever I want to do. So if I simply choose my own name, I'm going to go Dan, and then last name Williams, and then just click off that. I go back to the start of the animation, you see it works in exactly the same way. So this is really great if I wanted to make multiple um, titles, I can li literally just take the same text and drag it in but change the the wording on it really really handy another really great thing about using this process is I can go back into motion and make changes if I wanted to so to do this I can right click on test and it will come up with open emotion I'll click on that and just wait for a motion to pop open say I wanted to get rid of the first name I no longer want this um, all I do is I just get rid of that in motion as I normally would uh, I click save and then simply go back into Final Cut um, I'll just get rid of this old one I'll bring this back in and as you can see the first name is completely gone and I'm just left with last name and I can make as many alterations as I want to this motion file just by making changes in motion um, and then making sure I save it. I think that's about it for today. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.